So let's take a common properties of course. We can take any kind of an example as we did over here. We could take an example. Let's take this example. 2x plus 6 is less than or equal to 3x minus 5. So the first thing that is there is we need to uh, the left hand side we write it as 2x plus 6 and left and right hand side we write it as 3x minus 15. We are using opening the bracket and do it. The next what do we do? We transpose that is we are subtracting 3x from both sides so we have 2x minus 3x and when you subtract 3x over here those two 3x and minus 3x gets cancelled and this side you have minus 15 and you're subtracting 6 from both sides so you have taken it this way and the inequality would remain like this like how we solve an equation and here we have minus x is less than minus 21 so what have we done over here we have subtracted or added the same number on both sides of the inequality and the inequality continues to remain left less than less than less than so in the first step in the second step we have subtracted 3x from both sides then we have subtracted also 6 from both sides which means in simple words you are transposing you are taking the number from this side and putting it the other side hence you are changing the signs and you are getting minus x less than or equal to minus 21 but this is not what the solution is we are interested in finding the value of x but here comes a very important rule throughout we have used the rule that when we subtract or add the same number on both sides of the inequality the inequality does not get altered right but we need to take it from this uh, particular stage to the next stage now we need to divide or multiply by a positive number and the inequality does not change. So the same case say minus x is less than or equal to minus 21. Suppose you multiply by 2 on both sides. You are multiplying by 2 on both sides. You multiply minus x by 2 you get minus 2x and you multiply minus 21 by 2 and you get minus 42. So you multiply by the same positive number. Note it's a positive number we are multiplying with not by a negative number. So when you are multiplying or dividing by a positive number, it continues to remain like this. Minus 2x is less than minus 42. Now, suppose you have a case wherein you are dividing or multiplying by a negative number, then the inequation changes. Let's take the same case over here. Let's take this and we could possibly take it over here. So we have minus x less than minus 21. Let's multiply by say minus 2. So we have minus x into minus 2 and here you have minus 21 into minus 2 and you have 2x and you have 42. Now what have we done is opposite of this. Here you multiplied both sides by 2. Here you are multiplying both sides by minus 2 and the inequality changes from less than to greater than. So 2x is greater than 42. So if you summarize these rules, we understand that when we subtract or add same number on both sides of the inequality, the inequality does not get altered. And same rule, division or multiplication by a positive number does not alter the inequation. But whenever we divide or multiply by a negative number, the inequation changes. The same thing if you divide uh, minus x by minus 1 and minus 21 also by minus 1. Remember whether it's inequation or e inequality or an equation, we have to divide, multiply, add, subtract the same number on both sides. That's how we solve the inequation or the equation. So that rule continues in any case. But the moment when you're dividing or multiplying by a negative number, immediately we need to change the inequality. Yes. Now these are those were the certain properties. Now we have some important properties just as a summary of what we have. Let's take the case of 8 greater than 6. 
So when you're multiplying both sides by minus 1, we have minus 8 great less than minus 6 because when you multiply this by minus 1, this by minus 1, you get minus 8 and minus 6 and it's common knowledge that minus 8 is less than minus 6. This is one particular rule which we did earlier. And when we were young, we know, we know, for example, suppose I have an apple and I divide it into eight parts and I have the same apple and divide it into six parts. So obviously the one sixth part is going to be bigger than one by eight, although eight is greater than six. Whatever is the order relationship between two numbers, the the opposite is the order relationship. Whatever is the relationship of inequation between two numbers, opposite will be the relationship between the reciprocals. This is common knowledge. Yes, here also the same rule is being valid. We have minus 8 is less than minus 6 and hence in the inequation, minus 1 by 8 will be greater than minus 1 by 6. This is how we get it. Because minus 8 is less than minus 6, the reverse is the relationship between their inverses or their reciprocals. Exceptions you, you do have exceptions. The problem arises when you have one number as positive and one number as negative. So here you have a case of 8 being greater than minus 6. So you would be tempted to believe that 1 by 8 should be less than minus 1 by 6 if you use this particular logic. No, because 8 is greater than minus 6, even if we take the reciprocals, one number is positive, the other one is negative. So the positive has to be greater than the negative. So the only ex exceptions of reciprocal maintaining the same relationship if, if one number is positive and the other number is negative. Now these are the common properties which we assessed in the previous examples too and which we have taken up here too. Now. Let's take this case of minus 2x greater than or equal to 10 in the next example and see how it works in this particular number line. So we have minus 2x greater than or equal to 10, which means minus 2x is any number which is either equal to 10 or it is greater than 10. Now we need to find out if minus 2x is greater than or equal to 10, what would be x? So now, how do we separate this minus 2 and x? They are, they are joined by multiplication, so we divide both sides, the opposite, the, the reverse process. That is, you divide by minus 2. So we do minus 2x by minus 2 and here too we divide by minus 2. Now what have we done? Go back to what we did earlier. You have divided both sides by a negative number. So the inequation does not remain the same. It changes to less than or equal to. So that means this has got changed to this. So minus 2x by minus 2x and less than or equal to 10 upon minus 2 that is minus 5. Now, where is this x is less than or equal to minus 5? Yes, here. We start from minus 5 and then keep moving this side. So, this region is x is less than minus 5. The same thing, suppose you have 2x is greater than or equal to 10. Here, we divide by 2 on both sides. So, when you divide by 2, you end up getting x and 10 by 2. But here, since you are divided by a positive number, you continue to maintain the same relationship and you have x is greater than or equal to 5. So hence, now here we start from 5 and move to the right this way. So you can see from these two almost opposite um, examples, one of them has division by a negative number and the other has a division by a positive number. Division by the negative number, the inequality changes from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. When you're dividing by the same, uh, by a positive number, the inequality is retained. It continues to be greater than or equal to 5. Now, this is something which we need to understand.